Yeah. yeah. All right, a rectangle to be inscribed under one arch of the... Listen up, please. Of the sine curve, what is the largest area the rectangle can have? So, uh, let's first get a picture of what's, what's happening. This is just the, it says a sine curve, but we're just doing sine of x, okay? And we want to inscribe a rectangle underneath it. Um, and let's see, what largest area, so we want to maximize the area. So how, what is the length of one arch of the sine curve? Length. It's yeah, like how, how far? Either pi or two pi or pi over two. <laughs> <laughs> is it pi or two pi or what is it? It's pi over two. Wait, what is the question? It's pi. It's pi. Yeah. If I drew the sine curve, so this is, uh, we'll say, inscribing rectangle. Okay. Alright, so if I look at the sine curve, shh, quick talking. Does it start at zero or one? Zero. Good, and it does one of these things. Right? Okay, I want to know what is the distance from here at the beginning to there? It's high, right? Yeah, one full, one full rotation is two pi, right? So half of it is pi. So this is the point pi. Zero. Um, and I want to inscribe a rectangle underneath of this. One, one arc of the sine curve, like so. Right. Now, I, I hopefully I kind of understand the problem now, and I'm going to start kind of labeling things in the diagram. So I know that this distance is pi. Um, what is this point right here, this arbitrary point? This one, right? Oh, let me help. Let's call this distance x. Okay, so it's along the x-axis. So this distance is x. What is this point? X, y. X, comma, y. Generic, yeah, just sine x, right? X, sine x. That's this point right here. Um, all right, and then if this rectangle is to be inscribed underneath the sine curve, what do I know about this distance right here? If I call this x, it's also got to be x, right? Yeah, so this is also x. So if this is x and this is x, what is the distance between the two points? Or what is the bottom part of the rectangle? Pi minus 2x, right? Yeah, good. All right, and so this is a rectangle, and we're talking about area. We've kind of got that um, area formula in, in the back of our heads here. A equals length times width, right? Okay, so we want to maximize area. Um, good. What is this? And maybe I don't care, uh, ultimately. But what is this point over here? X plus pi. Well, what is this distance here? Isn't it x plus pi minus 2x? So, yeah. In other words, take this whole distance, subtract off the x. Pi minus x, comma, sine of pi minus x. Notice um, that here the height is sine of x. Over here the height is sine of pi minus x. These two are the same thing. You probably learned an identity in honors pre calc that said something like sine of x is equal to sine of pi minus x. This is, this is one way to think about it, one way to understand why that's here. Uh, so that's all well and good. Um, what is the, I know the length of the rectangle, what is the width or the height of the rectangle? Sine of x, right? Okay. So if I were to set up a formula for area of this triangle, or rectangle, um, this would be A equals what times what? Length times width. But what is the length and what is the width? Pi minus 2x. Pi minus 2x times sine of x. Okay. All right, let's differentiate that thing. Um, so that gives me my mathematical model. Um, now, do you want to distribute the sine and then 
differentiator, you just want to do the product rule. I think product rule because even if I distribute, I'm going to have to do the product rule anyway on this sine x times 2x. Okay, so we'll say a equals pi, I'm sorry, yeah, the first, right? pi minus 2x times the derivative of the second. the derivative of the first, which is minus two. negative 2. So can I just write minus 2 sine x? Minus 2 sine x. Questions so far? Oh, yuck. Oh, uh, well, this is a prime. I'm going to write that. Or um, let's change the name with respect to x. All right. Now, do you know how to figure out algebraically when that thing is 0? Yeah, that's that. Yeah, I don't think we can do it algebraically. So let's grab that thing and figure out when it equals zero. If you can't do that anyway, why don't you just grab the first one? Describing rectangles. Quick recap. First thing we did is we got a picture. We did some analysis on the picture, we instituted a variable, and we kind of saw where we wanted to end up. We're looking for area, maximizing the area. Okay? Um, once I've done that, it's just a matter of setting up the model. And once we've got the model set up, we're usually, we're usually okay. We're 